this shelf as is, it's kind of useless. I've already got all the tools and most of the supplies. We just need to run over to the hardware store and pick up some lumber. Just gonna go with some regular sanded panel boards, four by eight, 27 bucks, not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and grab three of those. And last thing, I'm gonna need some kind of support piece. I found these, they were 250 a piece, not bad. Essentially what we're gonna be making are these things, but we're gonna be making them out of wood and they're not gonna suck for the material of the word. You can pick some up pretty cheap. Anything really that's thick, even like clothesline material, that will definitely work. You just want to avoid anything that's really thin like this. It's super easy to break that and you want to avoid anything that's sharp. All right, we're all loaded up. Also, if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll put some pepper spray on a hot dog and eat it. I mean, I'm not worried at all because I'll be lucky if the video gets, you know, a thousand views, let alone a thousand likes. We're also gonna need some of these two inch mending plates. If you only have one inch or whatever, that's fine. As long as it's a piece of metal with two holes. Wasn't sure if I had some, but I did. Luckily, I only had eight and I'm gonna need at least nine. So I'll use these 12, this project, and I'll save these for something else. And like I said back at the store, you're gonna need some kind of nylon rope. If you don't have a nylon rope, I uh, I like to pull these straps off of anything that I'm throwing away or getting you know rid of, recycling or whatever, backpacks, anything. These come on pretty much anything you look around your house. I'm sure you can find something. Now this whole thing measures 11 and a quarter. We're gonna do it a little bit shorter than 11 inches, and I'll show you why when we're putting them together. All right, it's kind of hard to see because of the light, but I got to mark 11 inches here, and then we got 11 inches, and we'll just do a couple marks along, and we'll make 11 inches along the entire thing. strips down another 11 inches and make squares. Got that mess cleaned up. We've got the stack that we need for our nine boxes. I got quite a bit more. I'm gonna make some boxes for uh, my Lego shelf with those. But I'm gonna go ahead and sand all these down on their edges. You can use a belt sander, but I think my neighbors are probably annoyed enough with me uh, sawing all day. So I'm just gonna use, uh, I got a couple strips of regular sandpaper. All right, we got all of those sanded. Now we're going to work on the support frame. Now I'm going to cut this strip into 11 inch pieces. Take one of my flat sheets and put it on top on one side. And we're going to screw that in with some three quarter inch screws. And that is going to make the back of the box. We got the bottom piece attached to that one. And we're going to do a side. We got a hole drill. There. And use slightly longer screws. Yeah, one and a quarter inch. Do both sides that way. You got the sides on now. Now we're going to make everything a lot more secure with some wood glue. Now, if you're needing a box that's a lot more heavy duty because your kids are uh, destructive or you need it for shop or something you can take these pieces of wood here and if you put one here and one here screws on each side and then again 
you're gonna have one here and then one in the back so that once you have your final piece on you can just screw them directly into that wood and you don't have to mess around with the glue and you'll have a much much stronger box but I'm going with glue because I don't want something that strong all right we got glue up on the sides and then we got another one of these slid in on the front here now I'm just gonna glue up here down here and first one's gonna be mostly done all right it's assembled and glued pretty sturdy and I'm gonna use this sander here to uh, smooth off the edges on the top got it all nice and smooth now see that fits perfectly I'm gonna go ahead and add something on the back that's gonna stop them from pulling this whole thing out and we're gonna add handles on the front For the handles you can easily pick up something like this from Home Depot or Walmart they'll be buck or two a piece you got something a little bit more sophisticated but I'm actually gonna take this piece of scrap wood that's left over from the plank and I'm gonna turn this into a whole bunch of handles just got my little ruler here and I just made some squares. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up. I got nine of these. I'm just gonna run them along the sander to smooth the edges. Just went five and a half inches in on each side to get a cross here in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a hole in there. And that's where we'll put our handle. There we go. Now we gotta do the back part. Cheapest, easiest way that I know of. You're gonna take a bit of a thicker drill bit. You're gonna drill a hole somewhere in the bottom because that's where your most of your support is. And you're gonna run that twine through to the back and just knot it. See my knot down there? It's not focusing. There you go. But you just knot that, and then that way that's not coming out when I pull on it. And then we're gonna also not this other end inside a board that we're gonna put behind our shelf. And that will hold these in very securely. I mentioned you can also use these straps that you can find on just about anything. You know, any old bags, any old equipment, anything comes with these straps. If you're gonna throw it away, you might as well cut the straps off and use them later. Now what you can do with these, it's basically the same thing is if you can't find any of that, you can take these straps, lay one across, and then remember you're gonna want it to again be, you know, at least the, the 11 inches. And you go ahead and you'll take one of these and you'll put it across and screw it in and that'll hold that in. But I like this way a lot better with, the, with this if you can find it, because there's no, you're gonna have screws sticking out the other end of here that you're gonna have to cut off. And just using this little bit of twine here is just so much easier. Also a little bit of rope. We just have to drill a little bit of a bigger hole. And I add some paint and then we'll take a look at it when it's finished. Well, one down and uh, eight to go. Strings through to the back. We're gonna also go through this board. And it's finished. Thanks for watching.